Jesus, my Savior. Lord, there is none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength, let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing, power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the work of your hands. Forever I love you, forever I'll stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. all the earth let us sing power and majesty praise to the king mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name I sing for joy at the work of your hands forever I love you forever Stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the wonders of God's with us this very night. We know that the Bible readings that we'll hear tonight, we have heard them before, and before we've heard them, there was generations before us that heard them. But we know that what God's promising is that every time we hear his word, every time we read the Bible, hear it proclaimed to us, that God has a word, a word of direction, a word of affirmation, a word of support for us. It might be a word that we need tonight. It might be a word that we might need to pass on to others during the week that is before us. But God is truly with us at this moment of sacred prayer. To prepare our minds then to be open to God who is here. Our ears to be open to be able to hear him. And our eyes open to be able to see him. Not only as we gather together as his family, one another, but also in the Holy Eucharist. Truly his body and blood. Let us ask the Lord to help us to know what our sin might be, those ways in which we don't believe that we push God away from us. Let us ask forgiveness of God for those times that we have pushed him away, whether it be in our thoughts, our words, our actions, and let us ask God for a new beginning this week. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us all of our sin and bring us together one day unto life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God, that we may walk eagerly in the to death through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them, O my people. I will put my spirit in you that you may live and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord, let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness that you may be revealed. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. More than sentinels wait for the dawn. Let Israel wait for the Lord. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. For with the Lord is kindness and with him is plenteous redemption. And he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit dwelling in you. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will never die. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be 
with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. The sisters of Lazarus sent word to Jesus saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, This illness is not to end in death but is for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after he had said to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live, and whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God. God, the one who is coming. Loved him, but some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something that this man would not have died? So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there'll be a stench. He's been dead for four days. Jesus you will see the glory of God. So they took away the stone. And I know that you always hear me, but because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, Untie him, let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what he had done began to believe in him. Rejoice, for this is good news, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ.
Let's stand now and profess the faith that gathers us as one. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us offer now to the Lord some of the needs that gather us here this night. For the mission of the church that the work done in the Lord's name may continue to bear much fruit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of all nations may find ways to settle disputes peacefully and care for their people justly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those preparing for the Easter sacraments, as they seek to follow the Lord and serve Christ in one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who feel that they are alone in the world, that they may realize the comfort of Jesus, who will never leave us orphans, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That participating in the Eucharist will nourish us and ready us to extend God's love and mercy to those we meet, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we pray for Robert Harvey, who we remember in a particular way during this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as always, we do remember those who serve us in police and fire departments for all first responders. We pray for all those who are deployed at this moment for their safety and for their families who await their safe return. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and loving God, we ask you to listen to the prayer's voice, but as always, to the quiet ones of our hearts. And if they be for your greater honor, our greater good, we ask you to grant them all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join in singing our song of preparation, number 48 in your blue music books, We Fall Down. We fall down, we lay our crowns at the feet of Jesus. The greatness of mercy and love at the feet of Jesus. And we cry, holy, 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 we cry.
Would you pray with me that this, our sacrifice, yours and mine, might be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as a true man, he wept for Lazarus, his friend, and as eternal God raised him from the tomb just as taking pity on the human race, he leads us by sacred mysteries to new life. Through him, the hosts of angels adore your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise. Holy, 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 Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death. O Lord, until you come again. O Lord, until you come again. O Lord, until you come again. Again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her faithful spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased to do your will throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Singing amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. O Lord,
I ask you now please to join me in a moment of quiet prayer. Today's gospel is really about new beginnings. People, we all can make mistakes and feel like we've had a certain amount of corruption or decay touch us. And the difference is that people believe that Jesus can help them to start new. But not everybody has that hope. So let's just take a moment of quiet prayer. It might be somebody that we know who needs to believe that God wants to give them a second chance, a new beginning, that our God is always about new beginnings. We, there may be nobody in our mind that we're thinking about right, right now to pray for. We'll just kind of just take this moment of prayer then for somebody that Jesus knows who needs to have new hope in their life, that if they've made bad decisions, if they've gone off course in life, that God wants to help them to get back on the right path of happiness and a full life. So let's just take a moment of quiet prayer and either remember somebody that we might know who needs that new beginning or just ask God to help the person that Jesus knows that needs it the most. Gracious God, we've received your Holy Communion, you truly in the Eucharist. As we have lifted up this, these people, persons within our prayer, we ask you to give them renewed hope and energy within their hearts so that you are a God who can make all things new and they trust in you again. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us stand together. Pray for God's blessing. Bless, O Lord, your people who long for the gift of your mercy, and grant that what at your prompting they desire, they may receive by your generous gift, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Let us go now to live it in peace and in joy. Have a great week. You too, Father. And please join in singing our recessional hymn in your blue music books, number nine, Blessed Be Your Name. Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful, where your streams of abundance flow. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place, though I walk through the wilderness. Blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be your name when the sun's shining down on me, when the world's all as it should be. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name on the road marked with suffering, though there's pain in the suffering. Blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name.